Sure, DIY painting is easy, but clean outputs can be a bit difficult, especially with tools that are in bad shape. Just like how a swordsman makes sure his weapon is sharpened and always ready for action, painters should keep their tools up and ready for any paint job. How? Check out these PowerShort tips on proper care for your paint tools. Investing in good quality brushes and rollers guarantees a good paint job on that living room wall. What about that area in the kitchen? Or that bare wall outside? Or any surface that you'll be dealing with for your next paint project? Proper care and maintenance should improve on your tool's performance and extend its life to around three to six months. Not only are you assured of easy and clean paint jobs, but you're sure to save money too. To get started, here's what you need to do. The trick to keeping your strokes perfect is to get rid of loose bristles for brushes, lint for rollers, and making sure that your sprayer's valves are paint cloth free. Soak your brushes in a container of water. Use a strip of painter's tape on your roller cover. You don't want to see random streaks messing up your perfect strokes. Keep your tools clean before and after your project. Rinsing methods vary depending on the type of paint used. For water-based paints, a solution of warm water with a teaspoon of soap will do. For solvent-based paints, paint thinners are best. Remember to use gloves as working with chemicals like this can be hazardous. Dip your brush in a container of your paint thinner and swish it from side to side. For your roller, remove excess paint with a curved blade such as that from your multi-purpose Swiss knife. Make sure your tools are dry before storing. Proper storage is about preserving your tool's form and shape. That's why it's best to keep and reuse your tool's packaging. But just in case you've already thrown them away, a simple makeshift case from cardboard and some duct tape should be fine. Even with thorough care, you'll notice that over time your brush's bristles become askew and your roller cover grows thick with accumulated layers of dried paint. But this shouldn't be a problem. Para sure, comb your brush's bristles back into place with a wire comb. And trim or cut away dry paint from the edges of your roller cover with plain old scissors.